pilgrimage, to take in the beautiful art like the Sistine Chapel, or to see the Pope. The list goes on and on. What people often don't notice is the way in which they travel to those wonders. The spiral staircase in the Vatican Museum is not only a beautiful sight to see, but it holds an unexpected map application. Vatican City, capital of the Catholic Church, home to the Pope, owner of impressive collections of art and history, all contained within the borders of the world's smallest country, conveniently circumnavigatable on foot in only 40 minutes. Is important to everyone because it has a huge collection of historical artifacts that span centuries. Today, it has over 20 exhibits spanning tapestries to ceramics to galleries of arts. This tourist attraction is popular because it draws in Catholics and Christians around the world to see their history and draws in non Christians because of the historical significance around Rome and the Vatican and historical artifacts inside the Vatican Museum. The Vatican Museum is located in Vatican City. It was founded by Pope Julius II in the early 16th century. The museum displays artifacts from around the world and an immense collection of artwork built up by the Roman Catholic Church throughout the centuries, including some of the most renowned and important masterpieces of Renaissance art in the entire world. The spiral staircase was commissioned and built by Gisot Momo and is now one of the most photographed things in the Vatican Museum. It was built in 1932 and was once walked by every single visitor upon entrance into the museum. It is no longer on the museum route though, so sadly it is now missed by many of the visitors to the museums. If you want to visit this amazing staircase on your visit to the Vatican, look for it near the entrance of the museum. The Spiral of Archimedes was first discovered by Conan and later studied and explored by Archimedes in 225 BC in his work On Spirals. In this work, Archimedes worked out various tangent links to the spiral and explored many of its applications. The type of Archimedes spiral that models the spiral staircase in the Vatican Museum is a double helix spiral. The equation that models this data is R equals plus and minus A square root of theta. The purpose of the plus and minus is that it creates the two separate spirals which makes up the two separate paths of the staircase. This staircase was designed by Giuseppe Momo in 1932. It is said that Momo's staircase is a celebration of Frank Lloyd Wright's staircase in the Guggenheim Museum in New York City. And although it was built after 1932, it fits in perfectly with the Vatican's classic Italian style. It is built in a double helix spiral with one side traveling up and the other down. This creates an extremely functional staircase. Vermont spiral is different from the other types of Archimedes spirals. It can be found in types of plants, such as the sunflower and daisy, but it is also very similar to the golden ratio of the Fibonacci sequence. The famed Fibonacci sequence, 1, 1, 3, 5, 8, etc., is found everywhere in life just as Vermont spiral can be seen in many differing areas. For example, the spiral hunts an efficient layup for mirrors within concentrated solar power plants and can reduce the required land by up to 10% by using the spiral. With its golden angle of about 137 degrees, Vermont spiral is perfect for flowers, renewable energy, and, of course, elegant and famous staircases. This is the picture of the staircase that we will use for creating our equation for the Archimedes spiral curve. It is nearly impossible to take a picture of the staircase looking straight down, so any picture will be at an angle, slightly angling the circular motion of the spiral to be more ovular. To correct for that, the polar graph will be slightly angled on purpose. To create a starting point, a polar graph has been overlaid onto the picture. Next, a line is drawn on the polar graph to show the curve of the staircase. After plotting points and referencing the parent equation, an equation can be created to model the staircase. Plus or minus the square root of theta equals r. Polar graphs are very important when considering the construction of the spiral staircase. Polar graphs are used in many ways and model a lot of different kinds of data. For example, polar graphs are used to model radar and sonar, like what air traffic controllers use to prevent mid-air collisions. By plotting the planes as points on a polar graph, the air traffic controller can see and be aware of the distances between planes and prevent devastating mid-air collisions. 
polar routes also model different kinds of curves, patterns, and spirals, such as rose curves, limousons, cardioids, lemon skates, and finally the Archimedes spiral. The Archimedes spiral is our main focus because it was used to construct the spiral staircase in the Vatican Museum. was built so that visitors to the famous Vatican Museums, which attract about 6 million people every year, could enter the museum one way and exit another way without meeting opposite traffic. In a way, this staircase represents life itself, even though it was made before the discovery of the DNA strand. The double helix structure of the DNA strand, revealed in 1953 by James Watson and Francis Crick, has a pretty similar function. It allows for a sort of backup of the information and for an easier chance of repairing or recovering any damage done. The Archimedean spiral has many more applications other than just beautiful spiral staircases. The spiral can be seen in pine cones and the way the tiers of pine cone leaves ascend the structure. It can also be seen in old sewing machines to make the needle move up and down as uniform angular motion is transformed into uniform linear motion. The spiral of Archimedes, and all of its subtypes, can be found in so many different areas of life. Due to something called the conservation of momentum, the size of these spirals can vary quite drastically. One example that almost everyone can relate to automatically is water being pulled down a sink drain by gravity. As the water nears the drain, it spins faster to conserve angular momentum. Imagine that a pull of grass is superimposed right over the top of the sink, with the origin hovering right over the drain. If a line was then drawn over the movement of the water from the outside in, it would create a perfect spiral of Archimedes. On the complete other side of the spectrum, many galaxies also form spirals. When a spiral galaxy is formed, there must be the collapse of a gigantic cloud of gas to conserve angular momentum that is then formed into a rotating disk. To create this spiral, which is typically a Vermont spiral, similar to the Vatican staircase, Density waves pass over the region and result in the formation of all the bright shimmering stars in a well-known double helix spiral. The staircase at the Vatican is so much larger than a sink drain and yet so much smaller than a galaxy. However, when graphed on a polar graph, all three still all follow the rules and the characteristics of a spiral of Archimedes. As shown, the spiral of Archimedes in polar graphs as a whole appear in our everyday lives. The staircase inside of the Vatican Museum is a perfect example. By knowing these two concepts, one can understand how important math and graphs are in engineering. Polar graphs are not only important in engineering, but keep us safe in airplanes and also produce the pattern of petals in some plants through a rose curve. These concepts will follow you in university, through math classes, and even outside of school through walking up a staircase, or encountering sonar, radar, or even just looking at Mother Nature.